Hello everybody, welcome back to 10 Minute Reviews. I'm Jason, bringing you today's episode. The fuzzy one that may or may not make an appearance is Freya. And again, we're bringing you today's episodes. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, guys. We appreciate all that support. Just a small family channel. Love to talk about books. That's what we want to do. Talk about books, talk about authors. On that, thank you for the support from our patrons. We really appreciate that. Email us, reviewsintent at gmail.com, or put it in the comments. Anything you'd like to see as an exclusive, aside from what we're putting on there for, uh, for you guys to listen to on the RSS feed. Today I want to talk about book four, a series we've talked about a few times already. Andrew Moriarty's Adventures of a Jump Space Account. Guys, this is absolutely hilarious. This is one of the best series I've read in a while as far as just dialogue. The dialogue is incredible. Characters are hilarious. But the dialogue is absolutely incredible. It literally makes me laugh out loud repeatedly, multiple times throughout the book. So you guys got to check it out if you like that kind of thing. If you like space, if you like cerebral characters, because while there's a lot of action in these books, the characters generally take the day via superior planning. Superior planning and knowledge. Sometimes knowledge of rules and regulations, other times just planning it out, seeing what could happen, figuring it out in advance, and going from there. Now, this time around in book four, now in book two, we dealt with metals. In book three, we dealt with food. In book four, we deal with the actual war. We actually finally have the conflict pop up that we have seen coming. We've seen this coming. We've seen this conflict building up. We've seen this war building up. And we've been trying to stockpile metals. We've been trying to stockpile food. We've been trying to stop some of the plans that they have been doing. Now the war itself finally breaks out. It breaks out between GG, a major corporation, kind of like TGI, that... Uh, that that uh, Jake works for as a spy, only while TGI is an insurance corporation, GG is a food corporation, food supplying corporation, and it's between them and the militia, and especially ele rogue elements within the militia that, that believe in the empire that has been gone for so long. So this little war breaks out, and a lot of the plans that were laid into place in previous books by Mr. Dashi really come into play. Now, unsurprisingly, Nadine makes an appearance again, um, she does stab Jake in the back again, although she does not shoot him and he does not shoot her, so that's a good thing. Now, one of the things that really, really, I really like about this book is Jake, he started to come into his own in the last book as he, as he took over a station after being a prisoner of it. Um, only this time around, his confidence has grown even more. He still knows he can't shoot. He still knows he, his social interactions suck, but... He's gained a lot more confidence. He does not doubt himself as much. And he's realized that, you know what, I suck at this stuff, but people, it, it, it does me no good to, to just let people shame me and, and make me think I'm worthless because Jake has succeeded in just about everything he's done except being a pilot, except shooting. Okay, he hasn't succeeded in everything he's done, but in the grand scheme of things, every time he's been involved in something, he comes out on top. And that's something that actually gets mentioned a few times in the book. Like, even Nadine says it. Every single time she's interacted with Jake, Jake has come out on top, even when she thought she came out on top, it turned out that she didn't. And Jake won. And she can't figure out why, but Jake always seems to win, so she wants to make sure she is as near him as possible, and it shows a lot more confidence in him at times as well. A lot more faith and a lot more more um, belief in his abilities and his knowledge and what he can do and his ability to pull it, you know, out of the ether. The other thing that is a big, big, big plot point within this book is Jake exploring his past. Exploring his past. It turns out Mr. Dashi does know Jake. Does know, or rather knew Jake's father. And there are some questions, things that Mr. Dashi maybe only suspects, but there are some things, some connections between Jake and possibly the old empire. And that ends up being a major, major, major plot point of this book. What is Jake's past? Who is Jake's dad? How is Jake connected to some of this stuff? And what is this mis mysterious thing that Jake possibly could be connected to? And how is he connected to it? How can he get it? How can he find it? So Mr. Dashi arranges some things, gives Jake some time, gives Jake a whole bunch of money, he tells him, go find out. And even gives him some advice on how to. Also, at the very beginning of the book, or near the beginning of the book, um, an assassination attempt is made on Mr. Dashi that appears to, su to succeed. Um, obviously, 
a little bit of spoiler there, it doesn't succeed, but it appears to, and Jose has to take over. Now, Jose is basically Mr. Dashi Light, and is, is very, very, very competent in his own way, and in a hilarious way. Absolutely hilarious way. His way of defending a station that is under attack is brilliant and hilarious, but brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, Jake is, while this whole war is raging, and Mr. Dashi and his counterpart, the Admiral, are trying to do things and trying to steer things, Jake is off doing his own thing and trying to find out more about his past. And his past does connect to the old empire. Not only does it connect to the old empire, we start to possibly have a way, maybe, to get out of the system. To get out of the system and possibly explore a little bit more of the old empire. Now, we start to learn what happened, too. Why did the old empire disappear? Why did the empire just abandon the system that is out in the middle of nowhere? Leave them to themselves where they are basically dying out as their technology starts to fade. And we learned that there was a civil war going on, that uh, it took at least three jumps to make it out to this particular system. So being in, out in the uh, tail end of nowhere, they didn't get much, they didn't get any support, they just got left. Again, they got abandoned. Uh, but there might be a jump ship still out there. There might be a jump ship still out there. And Jake's dad may have had something to do with it. And Jake, therefore, may be the inheritor of this Ship. So him and Nadine are out looking for it. Naturally, she stabs him in the back, although, once again, naturally he comes out on top. Again, Jake is getting much, much, much more self-confident. Much more self-confident, and he is almost turning into a Mr. Dashi light as well, as he is seeing patterns and seeing things in advance and not falling for the same stuff he's fallen for so many times around. I mean, realistically, the last two books, he got the best of Nadine both times. At the end. At the end. She helped him, he helped her, but at the end, especially when it came to finance, finances and money and rewards, he got the best of her. The first time he got the best of her just through sheer, I was going to say sneakery, but sheer uh, um, almost theft in a way, except that he, you can't steal what somebody else is stealing. So, But he got the best of her that way. In the second book, he used her own tendency to try and steal to get the best of her that way. I mean, he, he gave her an incredibly valuable reward, and she instead stole a far lesser value, but swapped it for a far, far, far lesser valuable reward, which he discovers at the end. This is pretty funny. Again, Andrew Moriarty, his, his, his writing style is an absolute riot, so you guys gotta, gotta, gotta check it out. And this book definitely opens up book five and makes you wonder what is going to happen next. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We will catch you guys next time. Bye now.